Hey y'all. So I have my green baskets out again. So you guys probably know what that means by now. Um, this is my Project Wax round two. Um, I just finished round one and I loaded that video. Um, I don't know how many days apart. Um, but anyway, I loaded that video on Saturday to give you guys my final reviews of the stuff and I placed an order from Candles from the Keeping Room so that haul will be coming soon and so yeah I, I was doing this kind of like Tiger Raider was doing where she would finish up one round make one order start another round and then she'll make one order so I'm kind of doing the same thing um this round though is a little bit different basically what I've done is I've pulled not all of my fall scents because I mean that would be ridiculous I've pulled quite a few of my fall scents, ones that I really feel I need to use up. Um, and so it's a lot. Like, it's more wax than I'm going to go be able to go through before I want to start melting my Christmas scents and, like, New Year's sort of, like, sparkly scents. Um, so, but basically, this is the only thing that I'm going to be melting through for the next month or so until school gets out. And, um, yeah, so that's that. Sorry, I had to get my phone because it's going to keep beeping if I don't. Um, okay, so I'm just going to sort of run through and tell you guys what's in my new project. So just get started. Let's see, I'm going to pull this down. From Shay's Scents, I have Cornbread Pumpkin, which smells so good cold. Um, but Christian CL Sing 7 says it smells kind of weird when it's melting, so I'm a little bummed about that. But cold, it smells amazing. From Kim's, I have just a sample that I got from her in Hansel and Gretel's house, which I'm afraid might be a little spicy for me, but I'm going to try it anyway. Let's see, I have a few Kim's. I have Kim's Pumpkin Marshmallow, which I have two of those. I actually melted one the other night in my tea light warmer. Um sort of a light to medium scent throw, but I'll review that at another time. I also have from Kim's, I have Monkey Breath, and I have two of those as well, which smells really good cold. There's a lot of caramel in there. Also from Kim's, Vanilla Bean Noel, and I have two. I don't know how I feel about Vanilla Bean Noel scents. What is the Noel? I know this is something I should completely know, but what is it? Somebody let me know. I don't know. I know it's a Bath and Body Works dupe, but anyway, so I'm going to go through that. Um, I think that's all the Kim, so we'll move on to Sweet Fixations. I have a sample from her in Cotton Candy Cake. Banana Zucchini Bread, which is not one I ordered. I got this in a swap, I believe. Smells so good. Um, then I want to go through a few of the ones that I had ordered. Marshmallow Shortbread. Pumpkin Corn Pudding, Pumpkin Fluff, Blueberry Muffins, which is another one I did not order. I think I took that out of the Round Robin. Okay, and that is it for Sweet Fixations. I have one from Aunt Nina's, which is Apple, apple and Maple Bourbon. Um, it was just, I, I assume, was a sample that someone got. I think I took this out of the Round Robin as well. Smells really good. I don't have a lot of hopes. I've been pretty disappointed with Aunt Nina's, but we'll see. From Tiffany Candles, I have Donut Shop, which I think I'm going to mix with some marshmallow because I know this is going to be too spicy for me. Then I have quite a few front porch singles that I want to go through. I have 14 Carrot Cake. I have Pumpkin Caramel Apple Butter. Maple Buttercream Bliss, which I don't smell any maple in this right now. All I smell is buttercream. And also in the 14 Carrot Cake, it just smells like buttercream to me. I don't know. I'm sort of over buttercream scent, so that's why I'm trying to get rid of quite a few of them. I have Pumpkin Buttercream. Pumpkins and Apples. Funnel Cake also smells like buttercream. <laughs> it's not weird. I don't know. And then I have Buttercream Bliss, which I thought would be nice to mix with some, like, carrot cake spicier scents that I have. So those are, like, tarts in bags. And my other box, let me show you those quickly. Um, I have from Old Virginia Candle Company. I got this from Erin Making Scents. This is in Macintosh. 
um, quite a few clamshells to go through, um, just because I kind of want to get rid of some of them. I have so many, and they are hard to store, um, because they keep falling. <laughs> anyway, I have two from Granny's. I have pumpkin eggnog. Sorry about the glare. And I have toffee apple crunch. Now, both of these are amazing on cold throw, but... These were Scents of the Month from September, or at least this one was. I don't know about the toffee apple. But anyway, her Scents of the Month from September, I know that was when she was having problems with getting scent throw and stuff. So I'm kind of afraid those aren't going to throw, but they smell so good cold. So keep your fingers crossed because I really want them to smell good. I have Cookie Fix from Sensationals, and I'm including this because I've heard several people say that if this one sits around for too long, it gets, like, funky, like, kind of goes off, so I want to go ahead and melt that. Candied Caramel Pecan and Ice Carrot Cake, and I thought this might be good mixed with, like, one of the buttercream scents from Front Porch or mixed with the sugared vanilla shortbread, and this one only has three cubes left, so I just want to go ahead and finish it up and use it for mixing. It's a great, great scent for mixing. Um, this is the only clamshell that has ones missing. The rest are all full, so I don't know how many of those I'm going to be able to go through, but, you know, aim for the stars, right? We'll just go for it. I have my second half of the Blackberry Marshmallow from Sugar and Spice Gourmet Soy Candles. You may remember I melted half of this with one chunk of Cafe Au Lait, and I said I was going to melt the other half by itself just to get the full Blackberry Marshmallow. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Also from Sugar and Spice, I have Pumpkin Cheesecake Ice Cream, which smells, oh my gosh, amazing. And Butter Brickle Ice Cream, which also smells amazing. Her ice cream scents are really good, so I'm excited about those. From Shays, I have Zucchini Pralines. And I believe this is from Haley's Heavenly Scents. I have Vanilla Butter Fudge. And what I think I'm going to do with this, I think I'm going to cut it in half and melt half plain. And then put, like, a pink sugar in the other half because Kirby was talking about a pink vanilla butter fudge that smelled really good. So I might try to blend that on my own. We'll see. I want to melt my second half. I only have half left of my little mini cinnamon nut bread from Bath & Body Works. So slacking. And last but not least, I have a Yankee Candle Votive in Vanilla Satin. I thought this would be another good mixing scent in case some of these fall scents are a little spicy for me. I'm sort of over Yankee Candle. I'm not going to buy anything from them. Let me not say anything, but I, I'm just not impressed. So I want to go ahead and use that up as well. So that's it. Those are the scents that I'm going to be choosing from for the next month. Um, basically until my semester ends. My semester ends on December 13th. So starting on the 13th, I think, is when I'm going to move into my, like, wintry, like, sparkly kind of scents, um, like champagne scents for New Year's and, and stuff like that. I don't like, like, garland and pine type scents, so I don't have a lot of Christmas scents to go through. But, yeah, that will be my Project Wax round three or my Christmas scents. So, anyway, wish me luck. Hopefully I can get through a, a good bit of this. I, I know I'm not going to get through it all in a month. But, anyway, that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.